necklace. It is got a hang tag of M. Well, that's either a W or it's an M. I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments. It's got a snake chain, a real pretty snake chain. I don't see any um, markings on it. Be a good layering piece. Poor magnet. Yeah, see, it's not picking up. So I'm going to test this because it's really nice. But I don't know what M or W is on this. Now, where's my little tiny, tiny, tiny ones? These are one and a half by two inches. I don't even know if I can fit the piece sign in there. Oh, it would be a tight fit. Mostly I could put a necklace in that size, but I think I better go up one. This is a two by threes. If y'all are wondering if you do jewelry and you're wondering what size bags to order, I hope that some of my uh, videos are informative or I help you in any way. So, yeah, I'm going to test that. Okay, where is it? This one next. Got some statement pieces coming up. Here's your first one. It's a lobster claw clasp with an extender with a bead. And these beads are acrylic. And these look like spools of thread to me. <laughs> this is what they make me think of. And then you have these beautiful little um, crackled beads here in blue. I love the blue color and the silver tone. That's that one. And it is magnetic. And the next one is a collar bracelet that you could put a pendant on or wear it plain. It's got a lobster claw class and an extender. It's gold tone. It's in very good shape. I don't know if I readily have a pendant to put on it or not, so I'm going to set it aside. And then the last one is more gold tone. It's got a lobster claw clasp on both ends. So I just, um, I have a blouse right now that, where you can remove the necklace when you wash it and it's, it's hooked on by lobster claw clasp like these. So that's what that reminds me of. I think you probably could wear it as a choker necklace. I don't know. It's pretty little. You probably have to put an extender on it or you could make it into a real necklace. I'm just going to measure on my neck. No, you could not even. So it definitely is a piece that connects to a, one of those blouses that's made for it. Or you could remake it, have an extra lobster claw clasp, put longer chains on each end. It's that. Okay, let's see. Grab some bracelets. We always have plenty of bracelets. Here is a little silver tone, little dangle beaded bracelet. Looks like you could add charms if you wanted to on some of these. Very small though. I can't hardly get it on. I'm not going to force it on because I may not get it off. Here's a little stretchy bracelet and this is like a pale lilac color on gold tone. It's in good shape. The beads are fasted. They have that checkerboard fasting. We have a silver tone beaded necklace. A good layering piece. 
It's not magnetic, so these could be silver beads. I don't know. I could test them. Here's some acrylic beads in blue, cobalt blue color. Very pretty color. I love blue. Here's a little crystal bracelet. These are cold. Very pretty. Another good layering piece. Could be worn alone, but I would probably layer that. Here's a little bangle in gold tone. It's got a little bit of wear here or a mark. Other than that, it's in good shape. Here's some more acrylic beading. I don't know, they might be something else. Lucite, I'm not sure. Very pretty colors, corals and the taupes and the beige. Very pretty, good shape. Now here's another little crystal beaded necklace, but these are warm. They're not cold like the other one was, but they could be layered. And you wouldn't know it because they have, well, unless you felt them, these are, you can tell these are not crystal just by the feel. Here's a silver tone necklace, I mean bracelet in an oval shape. Here's a bangle, and you know what? I know that was sticking to something else. What is that? Oh, I see what it's sticking to. You got your gunmetal color and your rhinestones. That's very pretty. It's a little big on me, so it would be good for a larger wrist. See, it goes on and off easily. On me, anyway. Here's another bangle with some purple and silver cut out there to sparkle. Give it some sparkle. I'm gonna pull this one away because it's sticking to everybody. This is a hematite and pearl with these little rhinestone spacers around the pearls. It is ooh, very strong magnet. Another one, another good one to wear out when you're thrifting and you want to test jewelry without being obvious. Just get it close to your See, that's got a very strong magnet, so that's a good one for that. I'm going to put him over here. This will be sticking to everybody. Here's another pretty polished gold tone. And here's one with love and gold tone. Pretty and polished. Oh, we're getting a weather alert. They told us yesterday we should be evacuating, but we're not evacuating. Um, we have the Ashley River not too far from us, which is part, comes off the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. And I think they're worried about flooding. But I don't think we're going to be having a Category 4 or 5 hurricane coming through here either. So we decided to stay. This has no opening. I mean, latch, so it would have to go over the head. And it does not fit over my head, so I don't know what they were thinking with this one. I don't have a big head either. So I would probably put this in a craft lot for somebody to use because the chains are in such good condition. And I think I would even go so far as to put it in a little bag so it's not tangled up with everything in the craft bag. Let's do that. There we go. And then this little tiny bangle. I know they were, um, 
I know yesterday they were flying out the airplanes. They evacuated those early yesterday. Let's see, what else do we have? When Hurricane Hugo hit Charleston, it was, I think, either a four or five category. It was pretty bad. I was out of town and working, and my husband and sons, who were very young, were here. And I didn't realize it was going to be that bad. It took me three weeks to get home. It took me over a week to find out if they were okay. And we lived in a very small home. It was a wood home with two bedrooms and one bath. It was barely a thousand square feet. I think we had made it into 1,200 because we enclosed the garage and made a den. But we had five huge pine trees fall down and they fell all the way around our house. It's like God put his hand on the house and didn't let any of the pine trees fall on it. And then there was a house down the street from us that was empty and the pine tree had fell right through the middle of the house and tree was so big and the houses were so small that it just demolished the house. So I felt very fortunate that uh, I was so glad nobody was in that home. None of the neighbors' homes were as badly damaged as that one. So, And then it was so cute that when the lights came on, the houses across the street got the light their lights back first. So my, so, so my neighbor across the street, she came over and she brought me all her candles. And I told her, I said, well, for once the grass really is greener on the other side. Because they had electricity and we didn't. But it was okay. We, it wasn't too long before we got ours. So here's a little gunmetal, beautiful wood beads. That's a glass bead, it's cold. That's a acrylic bead. This is cold, so it's glass. This is wood. Very beautiful combination, very pretty necklace. I like that a lot. And that would be a good layering piece if you wanted something smaller in, in this area to fill in. I love the beads on this, though, the way they combine the glass, the wood, and the acrylic. It's just beautiful. That's just very pretty. Those solid black glass beads. That's a beautiful necklace. Well made, but I didn't see any tag on it. And then we had this beautiful. Now, I don't know if this is, I believe this is, um, what am I trying, ceramic beads and grays and mates, charcoal gray, light gray, different textures on each bead. You have a lobster claw class. It's done in gold and you have these little black glass beads here with space with little gold beads. And then you have them between each of the ceramic, ceramic beads. And I think this is a gorgeous necklace. gorgeous. The finish, the glaze work on this is, is beautiful. That's just beautiful. It's nice and cold around the neck. I love this necklace. Love it. I'll bring it up a little bit closer so you can see. It's just beautiful. Love that. And I'm going to put it in a bag because I don't want it to get messed up. Just love it. Let's see if it's going to fit in this bag. I might need a bigger bag. Yep, I need my snack size or my sandwich size. Let's try sandwich size from Walmart. Ooh, I'll put a plug in for them. And 
Yeah, it would even do in a smaller size than a sandwich. Probably snack size would have been fine, but I'm out of snack bags, and that's what I sent my husband to Walmart for. That's just beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, I'll put Rantling. Rantling on. I love these acrylic bracelets with the rhinestones in them. These have the gunmetal colored ones. Unfortunately, we have a, two missing here. I think that's the only two. That's just pretty. Feels good, too. It's acrylic. Now, this one's got, like, um, silver tone and copper. And it's made to do that. And this, this has got a copper undertone on the bottom. And then this is gold tone and it's textured. Let's see. Yep. See, you can tell this has got copper and silver because it's not magnetic. That's a pretty cool bracelet. Bangle. Nice layering piece. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, we're stuck. There we go. These are very plastic because they're made of paper. This is paper and these are plastic. Isn't that cute? The paper they use to make these beads. I just think that is so cute. It's kind of tight. Yeah, it's pretty tight on me. I think this is going in a, a Fiona box for Fiona. This is plastic. This is not cold at all. I don't know what it is. But the finish on it's great. And it's in good shape. And then we have this big chain, very bold chain, toggle clasp. You're picking up our garbage today, I'm thankful for that. The schools are closed today, give parents time to get things together or evacuate or whatever. There you go. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's slightly magnetic. This is well made. Nice chain bracelet. Let's see if I can put it over here. There. Well, sorry guys, trying to figure out where to put things, so I slightly keep them organized. Let's see what we got here. Let's do some rings. Some rings and things. Okay, here's our first ring. It is very weighty. I don't see any markings. All the stones are there. It's in good shape. It's nicely made. When they contour in like that, it get, makes it comfortable on the hand. But I sure don't see any markings. Let's loop it just in case. Nope. Let's see if it's magnetic. No. So it could be silver or it could be um, stainless steel. And that's what I'm thinking because it's well made. This Pave set. Rows of CZs. Very sparkly. 
It's a nice ring. I'm going to put it in my thing so we don't lose any CZs. They not fit in here. Sometimes it just takes a little patience. Ta-da! That way if a CZ comes out, it comes out of the bag. And this protects it. The next one, looks like it's missing a stone in here. And it's got wear on the back. You can see the copper coming through. Kind of tight. So I don't know what kind of stone it had. Let's put him in there. Ooh. Okay, I'm showing you that early. That's a little pendant. Cat's eye. That's cool. And that's not magnetic. I don't see any markings on it. That's pretty cool, though. I like that. So I don't know if I have any stones. I'm going to leave this out to see if I can find anything that went in there. Next thing we have is this necklace. Oh gosh, here they go again. They're going to drive me crazy with these weather alerts. That's very pretty. I thought I showed that though. If I did, I apologize. I'm showing it again. Very pretty. Probably needs cleaning. Well, that's our county, Dorchester. Anyway, here's a ring that's got like a coral look, and this stone is appears to be um, carved, and then your little turquoise colors. Here's the band. This is a costume ring, but it's very pretty. It's even got a ring sizer on the inside. It's well made. Let's see if I see any name in there. Nope. Well, maybe. Nope, I don't think so. I'm going to look at this redstone a little closer. It's carved like a, maybe a scarab. Let's see if y'all can see. There it goes. Well, that's the best I can do. Best I can do, y'all. Anyway, it's in great shape. It's a pretty ring. Let me go ahead and put it up. I like it. I like it. I like it. I love it when they put um, turquoise and coral together. I love that combination. I'm not saying this is real turquoise or coral, though. I'm just saying the, the color combination. It reminds me of the Southwest sunsets. And no, I haven't lived in the Southwest, but I've seen plenty of pictures. Here's a mother of pearl ring. Very big. It's worn through to the copper. As you can see, both sides. It's got a pretty mother of pearl in it, though. And that's why it's not magnetic, because it's copper under the uh, silver tone, silver wash. Here's a pretty checkerboard cut stone. It looks to be like a smoky quartz. Here's the gallery on that with the little hearts. Let's see if you can see that a little better.
better. Little rhinestones. There's your shanks. You, you got beaded shanks down the side. It's worn down to its copper too. It's a very comfortable ring. So that's a little costume ring. Here's a little tortoise-like shell ring. It's very, um, I don't know. I don't know if this is plastic. I don't know if it's adjustable because you have this part here or did it break? I just don't know. I need to test this though. Here's a little pearl ring. It's gold tone. The finish on it is excellent. It's a little big on me. So we know it's larger than a six. I like to put pearls in bags so they don't get damaged. So I don't know why I grabbed some more bags when I already had this one out because I wasn't paying attention. But that's okay. I have more to put in there. There's this pearl ring and you got little rhinestones here and here. It's like a waterfall. The metal's in great shape. I do see something on this one. So I will see what that says. Oh boy, I can't get in there. It says CETA, S-E-T-A. Whatever that is. And here comes the hubby. And that's a pretty ring. They know. I said you were coming in the door. You don't have to whisper. There we go. He's back with bags. Lots and lots of bags. Here's a little um, bow type ring. A little rhinestone in the middle and gold tongue. Looks like a stacking ring. Very cute. It's not magnetic. I'm looking for marks. I'm going to loop it. Nope, I don't see any marks. And then we have this ring that has one little like ruby or garnet type stone missing in here. Four little pearls. Now, I don't know if that's just tarnished. That's what it looks like. It's tarnished. And I do see, I think I see some markings on it. Got G and then 900. And then it's got a maker's mark that I don't know what it says. So I think 900 might mean 
uh, sterling silver. I'm going to test this one. I need to do me a little chart of the European numbers, 900 and 550 and all that to see what they are. I had it looked up one time. Put that there. We have this little costume ring. It's missing some pearls. It's adjustable. It's kind of whacked out here. I can fix that, but right now. Here's a little ring that's been clipped. No, it's not clipped. It's an adjustable ring. Very strong adjustable ring. Little purple stone. There we go. And this is a pretty, pretty necklace. You have your gunmetal, no more of a black, black enamel chain with a little finish. There's your black lobster claw clasp and C rings. You have three, ch three chains on each side and then you have a beaded one. And it's in those peacock colors. Very pretty. Comes down to this knotted tassel. Just really pretty. Really pretty necklace. These are warm, so they're not crystals. But the finish on them is that peacock color. Very pretty. No maker's tag. Pretty costume necklace. And it's one to tangle easy. So let me see if I got me some snack size. Well, I don't know. It might fit in this one. Let's try it. Let's try it. Here we go, and it fits. So this size bag, I need to tell you what this size bag is. Here's my ruler. Here it is. And I'm only gonna measure the part where you can put jewelry into it. It's four, it's three by four, I bet. Yep, three by four. Oh, they were three by fours. That's a good size. Two by threes and three by fours. And then these tiny ones are good 